right? <laughs> Not quite, even if I do go, I'll just go out with a bang. So I am here today at uh, Winter in, well, Social and City, the Winter version. Um, so as it happens, when I did move, I moved closer to Birmingham, so I am not passing up on this opportunity. I am hoping I will get to meet um, Daz Black today. Um, even if not, hopefully we'll catch eyes on him and see how it goes. But I am going to be coming to you live all day from Social in the City. of like a couple of football pitches and that is currently the queue. <laughs> so we've landed in social in the city and I seem to have found a little friend here and somehow, I don't know how, but I've been trapped inside a big massive Pokemon card. Okay, so um, we found a Pikachu but we've also found um, a little bit of a shifty character here. But, uh, I'm really sure the food's very friendly. Um, so hopefully I'm not gonna get my arm cut off. And we've also had a little bit of a crash landing into the event here as well. So I think we've got to get inside them before she gets on the water. Okay then guys, so I'm actually here at the moment, switching down because we can't find anywhere for the camera. <laughs> so I'm, I'm here with Dogs Trust at the moment. Yay! And um, I've just uh, sponsored a dog called Shameless, who's a little shih tzu uh, in Eversham. And, um, and Dog's just here and we're going to tell you just a little bit about what they do and what I've, what I've done here. Hi guys, yeah, we are the largest uh, rehoming for dogs in the UK, We've been going over 100 years. 50 years ago we made a big promise to never put down a healthy dog. That's why we've got dogs like Shameless that take longer to rehome. And because of people like yeah. this lady here, we now we can now help all the dogs that dogs trust. 90% rehome very quickly with these 10% of the dogs, like Seamus, take longer. And we do sponsor a dog, don't we, Leanne? We do, and we have today, so a little, just little Seamus here, um, who's, who's been sponsored. So um, that means they'll get a monthly donation of myself, um, and that'll go straight to Seamus to help for his food and his care, um, and all his vet bills and everything. Um, and um, you never know, one day, hopefully, he might come home, maybe. <laughs> You never know. Uh, yeah, so it, it helps all the dogs. You're helping even the ones that fast track to <coughs> fast track to it helps all the dogs. Yeah. Thanks, Leanne. Okay. Well nope, done. No, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. So I'm here at the Rod Bus. So anyone who knows me knows that when I started out streaming and started my channel, um, oh, I'm bumping into everyone. <laughs> um, so when I started out streaming and started my channel, I started out with an Ace Rod Strix. Um, so I'm looking forward to going in and checking out the Rod Bus. Um, so I was hoping I'd catch this somewhere. Um, I know I think it's been to belong in a few other places. So um, I'm just going to get into that next and just see what's in there. And uh, hopefully I can um, broadcast it. It's a bit dark, so I don't know, but we'll see. Um, so yeah. So we're here on the very red Aces Rock Strix bus. Um, <laughs> um, so it's a bit dark, you can't really see what's going on, but there's a game up here, so I've been told that um, there's a game up here that's been developed, and uh, this is really interesting to me as a developer. It's been developed specifically for Strix. Um, <coughs> so and what I was really surprised to find is that it's actually been developed using part Apple technology. Um, so the coming together of the two platforms, I think, is fantastic, and I think that's really good to look into. So it's running on the Unreal Engine 4, I believe. Um, yeah, so, whereas I'm more Unity, but it's, uh, I think that's fantastic that both platforms come together. Um, so, I don't know if you can see just over there, but that's the, uh, so it's like a, a car game. So you're running around in cars and you are, um, I can't actually, I can't zoom in on this phone. Um, maybe, no. Nope, that's not gonna work. <laughs> Um, so yeah, um, it's like a little game where there's like a car and you're shooting each other in the car. So kind of like, it's kind of the Fortnite concept but with cars. Um, which is nice to see that it's a little bit different, which is good. Um, so what I'm going to do next is we're going to go, we're going to pop downstairs and uh, we're going to talk to the developer who developed it and he's going to tell you uh, sort of when it's out, when you can get your hands on it, uh, because we're getting early access here at the show. Um, so he's going to talk about when it's going to be released um, and some of the work that went into it. So let's go down and meet him. Okay then guys, so um, I'm here with Sam, 
um, and Sam is the developer on the game that we've just been having a look at upstairs. Um, so Sam, we're having a good game. It's fantastic. Thank you very much. So it looks like a little bit fun. Parts that kind of, yeah, we kind of think of it as like Rocket League meets Quake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so, just if you can tell the guys just a little bit about the game. Uh, sure, sure, yeah. Like so, Rocket League is, is kind of like a classic arena shooter. Um, <coughs> in the office, a lot of the time, we end up playing games like Unreal Tournament and Quake. So, being, being stainless games, our forte is car combat games like Armageddon and such. So, it kind of made sense to. We, we're good at car, car combat stuff. We like playing games like Unreal Tournament. Why don't we try and kind of yeah. mix them together and that's what we ended up with. Yeah. And to be fair, that's usually where most gaming comes from. Yeah, so this sounds like fun. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, so uh, when can we get the game? The game is live now. So you can find it on Apple Arcade. If yeah. you have an arcade subscription, I think it's $5 a month or something. Yeah. And you get access to the game on uh, iPad, iOS, uh, mobile and Mac. Uh, we're also live on Steam now as well. Uh, and if you catch it soon enough, we're on the uh, Black Friday sales for this week, so we're like 50 percent off, 9 quid or something. Fantastic. Yeah. Fantastic. So, yes, it's brilliant to find the wild development. <laughs> wild we are. Yeah. <laughs> just, uh, just like Pokemon in here. Yeah, they let me out the basement. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, so, guys, this is a great time for me to tell you that my development stream is coming back tomorrow. So, I'm going to get back on developing Mini Trail, which is an organ trail um, style game, except uh, with an ambulance concept. So, I'm going to be doing a recap back on that tomorrow so okay then guys so it's time for me to fly home so i found my transport uh for the evening um uh, well you're gonna hiccup so you're um, gonna be too close sorry you're gonna help me get back um so have a great day here at central city uh, okay guys this is gonna need a little bit of backstory so um just before we move on to the next bit um i did get to meet daz which I was so pleased about. Uh, I did have an encounter with him. Um, so it was at the panel, the speaking panel. Um, so um, I really wanted to share this with you because it moved me almost to the point of tears. Um, so um, it will explain the video, sort of the circumstances leading up to what I'm going to, what you're going to see. Um, but I just wanted to give it a little bit of explanation. So um, a couple of weeks ago, I was thinking of, um, basically committing suicide and um, it was Daz's channel that kind of got me out of the the rut that I was in and, and you know sort of prompted me to get help um, so I pointed this out to him um, panel and uh, this is what happened Hi Daz, um, Hello. so it's just something that I want to share with you, it's not a question but I think it's really important that you know this and you know the impact that your channel's had so, um, I've been going through a rough time lately, and um, I often have your channel on in the background as like just a, you know, so it, it cheers me up basically. And um, I was uh, contemplating suicide a few weeks ago. Your video came on, and you were like, you can always get help, but there's always people, someone who listen, always someone to go to. Off the back of that, I went and got help, and I've fleed a domestic abuse household. That's off the back of your video, so. I just think that you deserve a round of applause for that as well because that's that's down to you. So thank you so much. <laughs> well done. Thank you. I'm very proud of you. Thank you. Oh. Thank you. Just twisted my hip. <laughs> so that happened and it literally moved me to tears. <laughs> um, as you can see, it was a very emotional moment for me. Um, Daz is an absolutely fantastic streamer. He has some great content on his channel. Um, he's He does like comedy and horror and all sorts, and I've been a big fan for a while now. I'm gonna put a link to his channel down in the description so that you can have a look. Um, so please go check him out, please go support him. Um, because, um, from, I mean, from what I can see, I think he's been through something similar. Um, so it's he's definitely well worth a look. And I've been really, really keen to do what he did and pay it forward. So if anyone's got this on the background or if anyone's listening to this whilst they're going through a rough time, I am, I'm living proof that, you know, that there is always someone that will listen. There is always someone that will help you and support you through whatever you're going through, even if it's different to my situation, uh, because every single situation like this is unique. So, you know, please do reach out and do get help from, from, you know, a professional friend or, 
of helpline anyone really um even even a well-known youtuber <laughs> um so yeah i was really sort of keen to, to to share that with everyone and just to show you that you know miracles can happen and you know you will get to a point in your life where you will be happy again um because that's exactly what happened to me so yeah please do and um just always bear this in mind even if you have to watch this back several times to convince yourself to do it trust me it's well worth it um and i just want to say a big thank you again to daz who um really made my day today uh so it'd be brilliant if any of you could go and check out his channel hey then guys so um that is me out for the day i have had an absolutely fantastic time at social in the city i can't believe how good it was i'm so glad that i decided to go in the end and everything that happened with daz black just made it so much more special um, I even managed to grab him just after the event was over and get a selfie with him as well when he spoke to me again um, and told me how moved he was by, you know, and how well, how moved we both were by what by, by what happened to the panel. So I, th I think it's something that he won't forget either. So I hope you like what you see. If you do, come and join the pack. Yes, folks, I am back, uh, believe it or not. I did think I was going to have to go away. I thought I was going to have to stop my stream and it turns out that's not the case. Um, so you can, as you can see, I have now moved again. I am sick of moving now, but um, unfortunately, there's a bit of a necessity. Um, and if you were keeping your ears open at the panel, you'd realise why. Uh, now that's the downside that I've had to move. The plus side is look at all this pretty wall space that I can just do anything with. <laughs> um, I can have sound deadening or anything pretty on it. So. Um, look for a few more changes coming soon. So we do have things coming. We've got the Meditrail and all the development stuff is back. Uh, so getting more development on the channel, getting back to the grassroots and getting onto the indie stuff. I was going to do Cat Quest, then I played it offline. <laughs> um, so yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> um, it was a good little game. <laughs> uh, I'll be reviewing that on my blog when my blog's coming out. That's another thing that's coming. My actual written blog is coming soon to the web. Uh, so for anything that doesn't make it to the channel that I play personally, um, then that will be reviewed and whatnot on there. So keep your eyes peeled. I do have lots of plans. I am just still putting them all in place as we speak. Um, my life has been pretty much dominated by this move um, over the past couple of weeks or so. So I've had a lot of time to really think about what I want to do with the channel. I've had some great advice today about some... Uh, being able to do some reviews and bring some product placement and things to the channel, which is which, uh, because everyone really liked the Microsoft uh, unboxing for the uh, Elite controller. Um, so unfortunately, the only thing we are going to have to drop is card because my Wi-Fi is running on a mobile dongle here, which is frustrating as fuck. But <laughs> it is what it is. So I can't run card and the stream at the same time. I can do one or the other, but I can't do both. So. Um, Keep your eyes peeled for some really cool stuff and going back to the grassroots of the channel and all the indie stuff. Uh, and if you do like what you see, give the video a like and give me a subscribe and come and join the pack and come and have so much fun with us. We are going to be really killing it at the end of this year. We're going to go out with a bang and then we're going to go into 2020 really positively. So keep your eyes peeled for that. Other than that, guys, um, if you haven't, uh, Christmas is coming up, so go and check the merch store out. Um, I did well today, everyone was asking me, everyone was really interested in my merch today at the show, so uh, make sure you give that a look. Uh, it's Black Friday just gone, Cyber Monday coming up on Monday, which means you can even save yourself a few pennies as well. Um, other than that guys, it's really great to be back, it's great to see you, great to be talking to you. Uh, I'm coming back, I'm full of confidence, let's do this, but until then I will see you in the next video. Take care guys.